Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and today is Heidi's two month update and she's just had her first set of jabs so she's in her rocker she was asleep and now she's stirring a little bit but she's really unsettled the poor thing but I thought I'd take this opportunity to film her two month update because she's exactly two months old and so what better way to like celebrate the last two months than actually sitting down and let you guys know what has happened so far because it's been the craziest two months of my life. I feel like I've learned so, so much. She's really has taught me everything that I know what it's like to be a parent, which is so amazing. And it's been such a learning curve for us. But in the same time, I have loved every single minute. The fact that she's two months old now though, freaks me out because I know people say it goes so quickly, but it really, really does. So it's quite emotional because you know, like in no time at all, she'll be six months and then I'm like a year old and I'll be back at work. And it's crazy to think that I've had over two months off of work as well. So it's crazy, crazy times. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So the first thing I'll touch on is from five weeks old, Heidi began to sleep through the entire night, which was the most amazing thing ever. I have filmed a video about our routine, about how we initiated her sleeping through the night and how we believe that we've like encouraged her to sleep through. So the things that we do in the day to encourage her to sleep throughout the night. So I'll link that video down below. Um, but really we've just stuck to that routine this whole time and it stayed the same um she literally like even last night she slept from like 10 o'clock at night to about eight o'clock this morning so it's amazing and hopefully it's going to continue but she's not started teething yet so i am fully prepared for that to actually throw a spanner in the works but so far so good with sleep Ever since she was four weeks old, we attended baby sensory classes. This week is actually the first week we haven't gone because her jabs were this morning and that's when the class was. But we have literally really, really enjoyed it. And it's a great way for us to learn new things to do together. So it's given me great, um, it's given me great inspiration on how to keep her motivated in the day, keep her alert and keep her awake that's the biggest thing so she loves sound and light like all babies do but we've really enjoyed learning new play routines and she loves doing it and i think because there's other babies there as well it's quite good and yeah we've really really enjoyed it and it's quite nice for me as well because it gets me out of the house every week one of the girls from my work even though she's broke her ankle she did begin to go but then she fell down the stairs the poor thing so it's nice for me to know that there was someone that i knew going as well um but then you get to know the other mums and it's really nice for us just to see how other babies are growing as well because it's quite easy for us to like live in this like little baby bubble but it's nice for us to like get out and talk to other people and have conversations with people that you have something in common with so that's been really nice and I just love seeing her get really excited because at first she was really unsettled it was a new place she wasn't too sure but now she really really likes it and we do certain things and she just smiles so much and that is another thing I'll get onto but her smile is just the cutest thing I have ever 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 seen i'll insert a video of rich making a smile here because this is like my favorite video and my heart melts every time i watch it So from about five weeks onwards, she has definitely been way more alert in the day and she just doesn't even cry, she doesn't stir. You can just tell she's taking everything in. She's kind of looking all over the place. She recognises me and Rich, so when Rich comes home from work, you can tell she gets a little bit smiley, which is nice. And yeah, she's just taking everything in. When we go to new places, she's just so alert, she's just looking around. She loves my mum's house as well because she lives in like a really old style house that have got like the old wooden beams along the ceiling and Heidi's literally head is just like like that the whole time just watching them and I guess for her it's the contrast between black and white that she really enjoys because we have like the black and white books that she really likes kind of looking at so I think for her it's like a massive version of that and she just absolutely loves it so that's really nice and she definitely knows when she's at her nan's house because she just loves the beams so much. Our latest health visitor 
um, appointment. She was meant to come, but unfortunately I had an emergency dental appointment and I really had to go. It's one of those things when you have like a toothache, I ended up having to get a fill in. Um, but it's one of those things when your teeth hurt, you need to get them sorted as soon as possible. But unfortunately she didn't want to reschedule it. She just said, she texted me saying like, um, she could still come if I wanted her to. And I was like, oh no, that would be good. And she said, oh, actually, are you feeling down? Because I said I wouldn't be there. And she just texted me almost like, are you feeling down? We mainly check for postnatal depression, which I know I don't. And I know that I don't have that. And I'm very fortunate. But I do feel like if there are people that have postnatal depression, you're probably not going to register that. And you're not going to admit that over a text. So I think that her approach could have been different and I really wanted to get Heidi weighed as well but we did get her weighed today when she got her jabs and she now weighs 13 pounds which is huge um and she is eight weeks old now in exactly two months and she's put on about 50 percent of her birth weight which is to be expected and that's completely normal and it you know it's a good sign that she's putting on a lot of weight but I really wanted to get her weighed then but the health visit just did not seem that bothered about coming um and I don't know if we're going to get any more visits she hasn't mentioned anything um but you know we are getting on fine not that we needed her to come it just would have been interesting to know how much she weighed but we kind of got that done at the doctor's today so that was fine but I just found that the text saying like are you feeling down just I don't know it just didn't sit right with me and I just think that you're just not going to admit that by text are you so I don't know as you would have seen in the video she is smiling so much which is just my favorite thing I love seeing all these little personality traits and her smile just melts my heart so much so I love the fact that she is smiling more and you can now do things that will guarantee a smile whereas before it was just when she had wind um, but now she is beginning to be more reactive to things and it's so cute and it's just those little things like those little moments that where you see her smiling or like the other day I picked her up from her cot. I had to get up and out of the house quite early. I had to wake her up and when I woke her up she literally had this beaming smile and oh my god it was like the best start of my day so far. It was just so cute. This month as well, a couple of weeks ago, I had my first keep in touch day back at work. So I'm basically going to be going into work one day every month up until I go back because I have 11 months off and you get like 10 back to work days or keep in touch days however your work refers to them and it's just an opportunity to keep up to date with processes and people my place of work staff intake is like different so there's normally always someone new um, or someone's left or something like that so it's good to keep up to date with the staff and to hear about clients as well because I work in marketing clients do vary all the time and so I had my first back to work day which actually fell on the snow day when we had really really bad snow and so I went in at 10 my boss was really really nice and said you know you don't have to do a full day just let us know when you can come in and like want to leave because of the baby so I had asked to start at 10 just to give me the opportunity to get ready of the morning and Rich gets back at 8 and I had to leave at nine. So it allowed me that hour to get ready whilst he was here. And then it started to snow. And then me and someone else that lives where we live got sent home at about three. So it was actually the cushiest day ever. And luckily I was paid for the full day as well, which is so nice of him. And yeah, it was just really weird kind of being back at work, sitting down. I wasn't at my desk because obviously someone else has taken that over. I was just sat down like doing just weird tasks to keep myself busy and giving myself something to do like just the loose end jobs because obviously clients don't know that I'm going in one day a month and I'd be no good to them even if they did know but it was really weird going back in and what was really nice was having adult conversations with people and having a lunch like sitting down having half an hour to eat my lunch it was amazing I took so much food in because I wanted to like relish the opportunity to actually eat because when Heidi does get unsettled in the day I never know when I'm gonna uh, like eat she normally goes down for about a three o'clock nap but by that point I can never tell whether it's too late to have lunch or whether I should have an early dinner you know it's one of those weird things so I really relished that opportunity and also I pumped at work as well because I exclusively pumped to feed her. I didn't take that milk home because I didn't need to um, but yeah it was really weird kind of being at work and pumping because the last time I was there I was pregnant and it was just a really weird 
kind of sat down and I had that realization that oh my god like I'm the other end of it and for so long I just wish for her to be here and it was really weird and it's gonna be really weird going back I can't even imagine going back properly but then there is a long time before I have to really think about that so I'm not gonna think about it too much but it was really weird going back but then it was also nice so yeah that's something else that's happened so as I mentioned, she's now weighing 13 pounds. So when she was born, she was nine pounds three, and now she's 13 pounds. So with that, of course, her appearance is changing every single day. She's definitely grown a lot. You could tell that without even having to weigh her. She's got a lot longer. She's in zero to three clothes now, so she's not in three to six yet. She's still in zero to three, and there's still plenty of room for her to grow into them a little bit more. When she was first born, she was in first size clothes. But it's just weird because every time like you focus on something you realise that her face is changing and her body's changing and all things like that just making her her own individual person as opposed to just a squishy newborn. I think newborn babies in general kind of look very similar. Um, but now she's definitely developing her own personality as well as her own appearance which oh, me and Rich just cannot believe that we made her. We just are so so in love with her and oh it's true isn't it that you think your baby is the cutest but we just sit there sometimes and just stare at her and just like how did we make her like she is so beautiful and yeah she's just so so good and I also love how rich is with her it's just I think that make, has made me fall more in love with him throughout this whole process because he has just been so so good with her like especially right at the beginning when I had the c-section and I couldn't do anything he really stepped up and just did like everything he changed her nappy changed her outfits everything like that but even now when I'm up and he's up he'll be like I'll take her you have a bath things like that that you just sit there and in those like moments you just think I'm just so lucky so as I mentioned she had her jabs today which honestly has been like the worst day yet like that was the worst worst day because as she did the first injection Heidi screamed so loudly and it was like this bellow cry and it was just oh gut-wrenching Rich held her because I didn't want to and so Rich held her as they did it and she just let off this massive scream and then they did the rest of them and she just kept crying and crying to the point where she wasn't making any noise because she was crying that hysterically Oh my god, my heart. It was the worst thing ever. Hey, Bubba. Look at those chins. Now, on to how I've been feeling. The first thing to say is that her birth just feels like it was so long ago. And already, I feel like I almost want to do it again. And... I'm not going to I am back on contraception and it's not happening for a very long time despite how much Rich probably would want another one sooner rather than later I just feel so jealous for people that are about to have a baby because you don't realize I mean I was so anxious for the birth but you just don't realize how magical those moments are when you meet them for the first time and you just literally have them as a newborn it's just the most magical experience my friend is about to give birth in a couple of months time and I'm just so jealous because I just wish that we could re-experience it all despite the fact that my birth didn't go to plan and I'll leave a video to that down below if you want to watch that if you haven't already despite the fact it didn't go to plan at all and I still would do it all over again because I just think that it was the most magical thing and it's just it literally changes your life and yeah I would 100% do it again we are not done on one baby I definitely want a second one I always wanted three but we'll see how one goes first and then how we feel like having a second and then we'll judge it by then I have no idea what our future entails but I know that this isn't my last. I know that I definitely, definitely want another one. And so does Rich too, just not anytime soon. So I'm also now back in my pre-pregnancy clothes, except from my jeans. That's the only thing that just isn't fitting. I mean, they fit, they just wouldn't be comfortable to wear all day. But I'm back in like 10 to 12 um, like tops and jumpers and like leggings and things like that which I'm so happy about I feel like 
so much more confident in my body despite the fact I've got stretch marks and a c-section scar and all things like that um I still feel so good in myself because I feel like myself I feel really good in myself um I'll show you my belly shot as well because I haven't shown you that since like my three week update so here is my belly and that's my c-section scar so I'd show you that because it's healing really nicely but this is like the most least flattering angle I've still got like the pouch but it is going down a bit it was much bigger when she was first born and considering how big I got I don't mind that too much I've obviously got the stretch marks still which are very visible but I'm just going to keep putting creams and that on them when I wear clothes that's what it's like again slight pouch but I can hide it pretty well so an update as well on how expressing is going for me personally. Every time I express, I am getting about seven to eight ounces of milk a time. She's not having that much per feed, so I'm staying well ahead. So we have like two days worth of milk in the fridge ready to go, which is great for us because it just means I don't have to worry about expressing enough because I know that I've got plenty in the fridge should she be like extremely hungry one day, for example. And I am expressing for 15 minutes every three to four hours. And I am still getting up in the night despite the fact that she's sleeping through the night. I'm getting up between, anytime between 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. I'm making sure that I pump. The last pump is either anytime from 9.30 at night to 10 o'clock. And I normally do that for 20 minutes just to make sure that my boobs are like drained. And then I get up in the night to pump and I would really like to wean myself off of doing that one because it'd be nice to get like a full solid night's sleep without having to wake up. But that is usually my best pump because it's around six o'clock, your body releases like the hormones that just make sure that you have lots and lots of milk. And when I pump at that time, because I've obviously gone a long stretch without pumping and it's also in the morning, I'm getting like about 10 ounces. So it's a crazy amount and it's going really well. I'm really lucky that, um, I found really good ways to like increase my milk supply and I made a video about that already so I'll link that down below as well if you haven't watched that but feeding is going really well it's just it you know it remains a bit of a pain it'd be much easier to use formula but I know that for me it's working and she's getting the best stuff so it's really hard to not do it so I'm gonna keep doing it and then I'm probably gonna reevaluate when I get to about six months um, post birth to see how I feel and then make a decision then but at the moment I'm happy to keep it going which is great and the final thing I want to touch on is my bleeding because when you give birth you bleed for a long period of time afterwards I bled quite heavily for the first couple of weeks well not heavily but like averagely um, and then it definitely went to really 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 light from about four and a half weeks onwards I think even three weeks onwards I touched on that update that it was beginning to get really light and then it's stopped completely now so I'm not wearing wearing any more maternity pads which is amazing because they are like the fattest sanitary pads that you've ever ever used they're like nappies and um, so it's quite nice not to have to wear them and again it adds to like the confidence this is my two month update I hope you've enjoyed give it a thumbs up if you have and don't forget to subscribe down below if you enjoy mummy and lifestyle type of videos and I'll catch up with you guys really soon. Bye guys.